at that time broke as fuck i paid the 250 to get on the shows i only had about like 35 dollars to my name bro for the whole week for the whole fucking trip <laughs> So as a hip-hop artist, independent, no connections, nobody to hook me up, introduce me to whoever, right? Trying to figure out how the fuck do I get in front of more people mm -hmm. so I can build an audience. Mm -hmm. You have promoters, people that put shows together, right? They'll get someone who has a decent following, if not already a big following, someone who can draw an audience in whether it's the same city you live in or nearby or different states, whatever. They throw these shows, right, where they're going to make money off of the big artist. Mm. And then what they do is they get openers. They get people to go and perform first to open up. And the majority of the time, if you don't have a big audience, you're paying to open up for these other artists that do have an audience. You pay to play. You pay to play. Sure. Exactly. I have no issue with pay to play because mm -hmm. if there's a show going on that I want to be a part of, if I can't bring in enough people to make that promoter money, why the hell should I be on that show? Mm. So I've always been cool. I work my ass off to come up with some money and pay this promoter to be on this show. If I feel that artist has uh, some type of audience for me. So there was a mini tour. We were going to go to Texas, mm -hmm. three different cities in Texas, and we were going to drive over there on a, in a van, 250 bucks, and you get to be on these three shows. You're mm -hmm. an opener, you get a 12 or 15 minute slot, and then you travel with everybody in a van, and then you share hotel rooms with people. So they're going to get several hotel rooms, but you, you share with someone sure. else. I invested into merchandise, so I, I put all my money into like the music into the aspects of my music career like yeah. merchandise so i pay this promoter texas is halfway through this huge ass country of ours yeah, right yeah. so it's far only three nights that we're performing i think we had to leave like two days before and then two sure, days after just to right? get there so yeah. you're looking at about a week yeah almost a week long trip to go perform and come back yeah at that time broke as fuck i paid the 250 to get on the shows I only had about like $35 to my name, bro. For the whole week? For the whole fucking trip. I made sure that whenever I would do those shows where I would pay to play, it was always, I can have a booth. I made sure it was in the contract. If I don't have a booth, then I wasn't doing those shows. Because mm. my way was like, okay, I need to make money somehow. So I packed it up in the most compact form possible, a foldable table yeah. and put them in boxes and tubs. I'm going to these cities and states where I have no fucking fan base. No audience members that are coming to see me. Yeah. Nobody's going to give a fuck about me, right? Right. They're coming to see the main <laughs> artist. Now, my, I have to do several things. I have to, one, be charismatic enough when I interact with people before and after the show that they maybe kind of like me as an artist, as a person. Then... I have to make sure I fucking kill it on stage to provide quality and a good performance. And if I do a good enough job, they're going to want to come talk to me after, take a picture with me or do some shit, right? I'm about to be gone for almost seven days. 35 bucks will maybe last me two days. I was nervous about that. I was really thinking like <laughs> eat the, the, the minimum I can to survive oh with dollar menu, right? Sure. Yeah. Now, I also had this super firm belief that I'm going to be able to sell merch enough to not feel that extreme to provide to provide <laughs> to survive doubt me came from one of my songs and people resonated with it so i saw people like the doubt me idea so then i turned it into merch and then i saw little by little more and more people were buying the merch be like at other small shows before even watching me perform just alone on the merch on the merch so they were connected to the idea of doubt me because this is a universal message right Dope. so i created some merchandise that could transcend the hyphen it's beyond me beyond the hyphen it's not about me so I knew I could sell some. Yeah. By the end of that tour, I ended up I ended up making like six hundred bucks Ooh, on merch. Look and, at you, and bro. so I was I was comfortable. It wasn't it's not a lot of money, but to have thirty five bucks on my, you know in my account, I was able to eat whatever food I wanted. Listen, you went on an independent hip hop indie 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 tour yeah. and you came up on 600 bucks i sold more merch that than is a bargain bro. bro that is that is successful yeah it that was, is never the case the case bro, is you call more merch mom than for the money headliner. that's look at that and and, and, and here's and you know what the crazy thing is too yeah. is like and so and then me i'm a i was by myself i'm always the first one in last one out right yeah. so there when everybody's still like trying to rest up or chill or wait in the backstage i'm yeah. like putting up my, my thing. I go up to every single person with my business cards. Hey, nice to meet you. You know, my name is a hyphen. I'm going to be performing, but hopefully you like it. You know, having an interaction with everybody. If there's a line, everybody in line. When yeah. people come in, people that I didn't see in line, hey, what's up? You know, I'm going to be performing later, blah, blah, blah. Here's my booth, blah, blah, mm -hmm. blah. 
doing everything I can for people to recognize me and the merch. And then going on stage, making sure I, I do a damn good job. And uh, yeah, man. the You bet on yourself, bro. Yeah, but strategically. Yeah. Strategically, right? Because yeah. I, I planned and I thought it through and I figured out how can I optimize. Yeah. Um, but yeah, man, like it's it's that hunger, that ambition, that grind. It's that no, this is there's nothing else but this, and it's going to work. And if it doesn't, I'm gonna fucking figure something else out. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna have to replan, re-strategize. But you have to fucking you know, if I don't make it, I'm fucking dead, right? Yeah. Is that yeah. it's sink or swim, man. Sink or swim.